It is not uncommon that on occasions we have to consider an in vitro fertilization with double donation, that is, with oocyte and sperm donation. There might be multiple reasons for that. The first case is a heterosexual couple in which both members present abnormalities in their reproductive cells. Another group where double donation is indicated are single women without a partner who desire to have a family with several children. In this case, if the woman is of an advanced age or has no ovarian reserve, oocyte donation should be applied along with sperm donation from our bank. And finally, it may also be indicated in the case of couples of women in whom, due to age or other causes, their ovarian response is null or very deficient. The double donation has to be assumed as there will be donated oocytes and spermatozoids and, on the other hand, it has a very high probability of pregnancy and this is mainly due to the rigorous evaluation process of both male and female donors. In our institution, the donor selection processes are divided into four stages. The first is an evaluation carried out personally by our psychologists. In this interview, a series of tests that evaluate a potential donor's emotional profile, social skills and educational level are taken. If in this first stage the patients are accepted, they go on to the clinical evaluation where their fertile quality, the quality of their oocytes or sperm, as well as their family, personal and reproductive history are taken into account. If this second stage is overcome, the third one consists of the study of infectious diseases, not only those imposed by Spanish law, but also sexually transmitted diseases. And finally, at Instituto Bernabeu, all donors have undergone an exhaustive chromosomal and genetic study. The chromosomal study is based on the karyotype and the genetic one allows us to rule out more than 600 or more than 2,500 genetic diseases, depending on the modality used, by evaluating the DNA of the donors. Additionally, we keep frozen DNA samples in our biobank, which is a DNA library for 20 years. Having frozen DNA samples might be convenient for amplifying the preserved genome in the future if necessary, always with the prior authorization of the donor. Therefore, in vitro fertilization in cases of double donation will allow us to have a very high success rate with a reduced possibility of miscarriage and a very low possibility of anomalies due to a rigorous system of donor selection. The whole process takes place always making it clear that zero risk in medicine does not exist, but that it is significantly diminished given this exclusivity in the selection of the oocytes.